OK, stand at 48, Edinburgh Airport buses in. Single decker normal, it's a double decker. It's a bit quieter this morning. Um, let's go. OK, just off the bus, running 20 minutes late. Um, there's always traffic on the motorway, it very rarely gets here on time. It's supposed to be one hour for the quick one. It's always a wee bit longer than that. Anyway, welcome to Edinburgh Airport. Let's head in. We've only got this wee tiny bag with us. Just a short trip, so there'll be no check-in. We're going straight to departures, which I believe is through there, from memory. Yeah, there's not too many people kicking about here. Pretty quiet at this time, actually. I was a check-in. There's the oversized baggage one right at the end there. I won't bring that one today, that's for sure. So departures. Going up the stairs, I think. From memory. I've been to Edinburgh Airport quite a few times recently, but I can't 100% remember where we're going now. We're going up here, yeah. Easy jet check-ins over there. There's quite a few more desks up there as well. We're going to head up the stairs, but to departures, as we can see, and flight connections. If you're connecting them, we're going somewhere else. These guys here are very smart. The crew going somewhere. Now, I'll give you a wee clue where we're going. It's about two and a half hour flight away. It's one of the underrated cities in Europe according to all the guides and it's 11 degrees here in Edinburgh it's pouring of rain really really bad weather outside um, but where we're going is 27 degrees can you believe it 27 degrees ok this is upstairs now so the parts are through here if you need any currency exchange you can get it there it will be a bad rate at the airport um, I did get some uh, money yesterday because I'm going maybe potentially to a few different places in this trip, we'll see it's had to exchange some money Hayes Travel in Newton Mearns I always just pop in there nice staff in there, I did get my dad to pick up the currency for me yesterday and he nearly got the wrong currency can you believe it? <laughs> Cafe Nero there right Bridge and Castle doing a wee Scottish breakfast. Now, I might be meeting a viewer up here, Magic McQuaid, uh, who works at the airport quite often, so we'll see. Right, this is us going through security. Need to turn the camera off while we go through here. I'll see you when we get through on the other side. Okay, just heading through the duty free now. We were delayed slightly at security because the gimbal that holds the phone triggered the security check, so I had to stop for a wee second. Two for £36, pound, a wee bit of Ballantine's finest there, Scotch whisky. So that's the first time really that the gimbal that stabilises the phone, the camera, um, has been flagged by security. This is because it's got kind of a trigger point. You know what I mean? It kind of looks a wee bit like a gun. So it did get pulled, pulled over for a wee random check, but then I explained to the guy what it was, kind of showed him everything was fine. So we're heading through. Uh, just to give you a wee bit of background on these cheapest flight videos probably 8 or 9 times out of 10 they're going to be with Ryanair these cheap, cheapest flight ones the easiest way to find the cheapest flight from any airport that you're flying from is to go into skyscanner.net and then leave the destination almost blank just type in explore everywhere if you actually do the drop down it'll come down the bottom skyscanner automatically so you want to do explore everywhere if you're quite flexible and you're quite fancy an interesting trip sometimes you get some very cheap flights to destinations that maybe normally you wouldn't expect to go to quite often they could be UK or Ireland so I've skipped the UK and Ireland ones on this one and I've went to the next cheapest one and we're going there soon so there's some of the departures going up there just now Amsterdam, check out my videos in Amsterdam I'm not going there today Valencia, check out my videos in Valencia Oh, the flight's coming up there. Can you guess what one it is? We're nearly there. Right, let's head up here. W. Smith, if you fancy a wee newspaper. There's a fever tree bar and cocktail as well. Let me just get my bearings here. Where are we going to go? We're going up this way. 
we can back down this way actually maybe. Yeah, so quite often the cheapest flight will be with Ryanair, but not always. I have seen some very, very cheap flights uh, before with EasyJet. When they first get released, do you want to get them EasyJet? That's the key, when they first get released. Fat face there, don't see that very often now. Um, but it's in the airport. Need a wee bit of sports gear. You've got JD Sports over there, Krispy Kreme donuts. I always think they're overrated, Krispy Kremes, eh? The Brother Spoons is always busy. Let's see if it's busy here. Now, I might be going up to Hudson's here for a wee bit of breakfast. Meeting a viewer, Maggie McQuaid, who is working here this morning. I think you should be round about here just now. So the Brother Spoons, although it's busy, it's not as busy as normal, I'd say. Quite a nice bar, actually, in there. But um, just over an hour before the flights, I probably might have time just to have a wee bite to eat. And this is where I had breakfast here before, it was quite nice at Hudson's. That's still part of the Willerspoon um, seating there, I think, across from it. So that's Hudson Street Grill. We're we'll heading in there in a wee second. Um, the good thing about here, like Glasgow Airport, they've got the wee signs up telling you how long you can expect to wait for food. So, the runway there, we might see a wee plane landing here, or coming in. So it tells us at the moment, it's going to be about six minutes for food. A wee bit of the menu for you as well. We'll pop back there in a minute. Let's head round the corner. I'll show you a wee bit more of Edinburgh Airport. Sometimes it's quite good to fly from different airports, you'll see that always fly from Glasgow Airport or Presswick Airport, that'll come up as Glasgow Presswick. Um, they're about 40 minutes apart in Edinburgh. It's just over an hour away on the bus from Glasgow, but it's always longer than that because the traffic's always pretty bad. There's Burger King there as well. See a random tourist shop there, Tartan Weaving Mill. Brew dogs around the corner here, for MD looking for a wee craft beer or an ale before they go on the flight. All bar one as well, popular chain, the Cafe Nero. There's quite a lot of chains here. So we're going to be boarding the flight soon. A new place, 27 degrees. A kind of city break place. Where will it be? Have you guessed yet? Have you guessed yet? It's flying with Ryan here. Uh, £21 this flight was. Now, I was actually robbed because I checked yesterday the flight went down to £18. I was robbed for yours of £3. I should have waited, eh? <laughs> 16 taps of craft beer and epic food in the brew dog. There you go. That's all bar one. So, yeah, so I've lost £3 already on this trip. £3. The cheapest flight I've ever had was a return flight from Tenerife to Presswick for five euros, so effectively it was like four pound at a time. Gate 1729s, so if you're in those, those gates, you're going to be quite a bit down there as well. Domestic arrivals exit through there as well, so we're going to be boarding soon. Exciting stuff. Okay, we're at the Hudson Street Grill, and um, that's not my flight, the KLM flight, but this is one of the best spots for breakfast here. Look at this. If you're into your plane spotting, you're probably going to see planes landing here, taking off. There's my wee bag there as well. Not long we're on the flight, have you guessed yet where? Okay, we've done here about 10 minutes. It's taking ages to board every day. I must be checking boarding passes again up there. Um, and it's pouring a rain and very, very cold. I found a wee bit of shelter here. I'm the last one on the plane. I don't know why people waited for 10 minutes in that queue in this weather. Anyway. We're on a second, we've got a window seat, so we've got a wee landing video when we land at the mystery destination, £21 flight, it's Ryanair. Information over there today, uh, we're looking at uh, two and a half hours Okay, just landed about an hour late. Don't really know why it was delayed. Um, it took ages to board everybody on the flight. I can tell you some, but the weather's pretty nice here. A wee bit windy, it's 
about 24 degrees. I think that's to rise a wee bit. Uh, good flight. No issues whatsoever. Had a wee spare middle seat, so that was quite good. First time ever landing at this airport, we're going to get the bus into the city centre. I think it's a number 61. That's the plans anyway, we'll wait and see what happens. Uh, no idea where we're going towards passport control or anything. I'm assuming it's round here to the left. Okay, the buses came, they have an almost impossible ticket system here. Um, there's no translation in English and you have to press those buttons and it's different times for the ticket. And then you get this ticket, you can pay by card or you have to have the exact change. It's very complicated. But we're on. So, this was one euro ten. Hopefully it takes me to the train station. We'll grab a seat here. And we'll see what happens here. There's 24 hour tickets that were two euros something. So it's a very complicated system for the tickets. Maybe you can buy it online, I'm not sure. You can't pay the driver, but so. Another clue on the bus at, at Ikea we're just passing. We are not in Sweden. In this very complicated bus system. From okay, without further ado, welcome to Bratislava, the cheapest flight from Edinburgh. £21. Quite a nice wee city here. Let me show you a wee bit. We've got some more videos coming up. This is the main square. First time I've actually been here. The Why Not Bar. Quite a few of viewers have recommended this. We've got some well-known bars and restaurants just around the corner. Some beautiful architecture and buildings here as well. Pretty nice. The uh, sun's just gone down soon. Starbucks there as well. They have got chains here as well with traditional Slovakian restaurants as well. But really nice wee place in the city centre. Very, very nice. We're going to explore and do a few other uh, videos here. I'll leave a link at the end, obviously. You want to check out all my videos in Bratislava. But yeah, the old town is very, very nice here. I just came from the castle. Pretty nice indeed. Well worth £21. And my hotel was very cheap as well. You'll see that, but that's a bit borderline. It's in a hostel. It's not for everybody. The hotel location's amazing. But uh, So yeah, really nice being here for the first time. We'll take a wee wander about, show you some interesting places. Okay, I'm in the Pilsner factory. It looks like a cool wee place here. I just got a, a wee beer here, a Pilsner. They didn't have any change of 10 euros, so they just said have the beer on us. How nice is that? Welcome to Bratislava. This is a pop in later, the change. <laughs> okay, time for dinner. Have I found a local hidden gem down an alley? Maybe fresh fish and local food. Uh, they're doing Bratislavian sausage and mashed potatoes, I hope so. Let's see. Let's check out the menu here. 12.50 for that, doesn't seem too bad. Nice wee vibe down the side streets. I'm going to one of these bars very shortly to catch a bit of the football. But we're going to have a wee wander down here because it looks interesting. Um, nice wee bit down here. Oh, look, we've got a wee little pub down the stairs. A bar open as well. Maybe they do food as well. Look at that, it's like down a cellar. A wee hidden gem. Oh, it looks nice in here. Look, you can see the kitchen, you see them cooking the food there as well. Look, people live here as well. Literally, the car's parked right here. I don't know. I need to have a wee look at this and see what I can do. Maybe, it's a maybe. Let's go in and have a wee look. Look, they need to have Wi-Fi for me to upload videos. If I've got that, then I'm in. They've got a wee fire pit as well. Oh, so I'm sitting in somebody's house. Looks nice, interesting. Okay, ended up in this wee local hidden gem. Quite nice. Um, so that's a Bratislavian sausage and potatoes and salad. Obviously we've got a beer as well, that's €12.50. Euros 50. Um, seems pretty good and there's people waiting to come in so it's a good sign. It's just like a beef food hut, it's quite unique. Nice. Now that is a spot, the restaurant San Martin. Pretty nice here. Okay, in the Dubliner watching the football, wait to hear this. Um, it's not the best place to have got one TV, but there's a couple of games on, they could have multiple TVs, but quite a nice bar, it's not really an Irish bar. Um, 2 90 for the beer star problem, and that's pretty good, isn't it? We have this. Chris, Lars Chris, €3.90, what the hell? Chris costs more than the beer. Okay, so the evening vibes in Bratislava are pretty good. Um, can I grow on with this place? We've got lots of videos coming up on the channel, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on Bratislava. 
Um, first impressions weren't that great when you when you leave the train station. You're on your way. Twenty minutes here doesn't look that great, but then when you get into the old town, I think it's absolutely beautiful. The old town, um, really really nice place. Quite nice t- the night as well. Um, got a good vibe about it. More of a relaxing vibe. It's not too lively. I'd imagine the weekend it's even busier. This is getting filmed midweek, so yeah, the weekend even busier. But definitely a place I'd consider if you like a quiet city break. Really good weather during during the summer. Obviously, it's not kind of got the beach vibe. So if you're only wanting a city break, you don't care about the beach and stuff like that, you might want to consider it. Um, got lots of guys, you see there busking, some really good live music actually on the streets rather than in the bars, there's not that much going on in the bars. A lot of these wee side streets, let's go up this wee side street, see what's here as well. Going to be heading down that way quite soon. Um, done another video talking about it, it doesn't have many bars really at all with live music and live sports now that might be a good thing for a lot of people as well that might be why it's not overrun with stag and hen hen groups to be fair so there's pros and cons there pros and cons but these wee side streets are quite interesting large beer two euros thirty it's very very affordable for beer and we found a billiard and pool room in here can't believe I've not done a separate video showing you this oh there must be no show sports in there as well this place does traditional Slovak food as well we might pop in here for a wee bite to eat looks quite busy a lot of locals as well oh, looks nice looks nice interesting what's it called that's part of the hotel Perugia I think it's part of the hotel a wee bookshop here as well These wee shops are open during the day. Um, the old town's very busy, actually, very vibrant. Considering this is a midweek, I've been amazed how busy some of the bars and restaurants have been. A wee cafe there, you can see they're making the food right in front of you on the right-hand side. I'm sure they're showing you it, sorry. Um, I've not seen any nightclubs and stuff like that. I'm sure there probably are somewhere, but I've not seen them. I've no idea where this is going to bring us out. Let's see. Where does it bring us out? Oh, a nice wee spot to bring us out on, that's for sure. Everywhere's quite nice where to be here, to be fair, in the old town, it's lovely. Dinner menu in there, more of a local vibe that place as well. So they've got a lot of traditional Slovak uh, restaurants, and they've got a couple of chains, they've got Burger King, they've got McDonald's, but there's a lot of local stuff. A lot of places with craft beer, I'm tempted to go in there as well, actually. Um, yeah. Well, that's the end of the street there, I just noticed it. We'll always come back to this here, you can't really miss it at the end of the street. Lovely, isn't it? Absolutely lovely.